Hello and welcome to this video. Thanks for watching if you tuned in. This is the second part of this portable, semi-portable bed frame that I'm making. Um, if you just found this video, um, I'll, I'll link the first video in the comments. So I've, in the first video I made a bed frame, or I made the frame portion with these, I think you'd call them lap joints, I'm not sure, but where the, the long pieces of the two by four join, make a joint where the leg is. And I am using, I initially wasn't gonna make a bed that comes apart. I was gonna just make, just take, buy cheap wood and just screw it together and have it be held together by screws. Well, I realized that I want to be able to take this bed upstairs and downstairs easily. And so I changed plan, but still had the material. So I had all the, this two by four. Um, and as you can see here, um, the some portions of this joint ended up fairly weak uh, because of the grain orientation and, um, and it's cheaper wood. So I'm going through and putting dowels through um, all of these, what I would consider the weaker points of the, the joint. Um, so as part of the, my plan, um, I was just going to use 2x4 for the legs. But for a different project I'm using, I purchased a piece of 2x12. And that was actually a mistake too. I didn't need a piece that big. So I used the extra to make the legs. And I cut it oversized and had to plane it down. So to make um, sort of like supportive cross members, I'm cutting um, blocks of wood that I will put, um, drill a hole through and put a, a large peg or large dowel a peg through um, to kind of so that it would come apart easily. And uh, I just put a temporary screw in to hold these cross members in piece, uh, in place, excuse me, <laughs> um, so that I could uh, more easily um, install the, the blocks that will eventually be what holds this cross member in place. Um, I'm glad I did this because it saved a lot of trouble in trying to figure out where to put those blocks. I ended up, I think that's a inch and a, a quarter maybe, inch and a quarter bit. Um, the, the one challenge I had with this was I did screw those blocks into place and I had to try to drill the hole between those two screws. And in a couple occasions, I the screws didn't go in straight enough, and I ended up hitting the screw. So, and two two of the places the the peg doesn't go all the way through both blocks, but it goes far enough into the second block that I'm not worried about it providing enough support. So here I'm just hand sawing out a rough. Um, a piece of wood to turn into the peg and uh, I was kind of talking to my wife about this how um, I don't have like a table saw and I don't have a good way to cut a small piece of wood um, with the grain like to rip it um, do a rip cut so um, I ended up using a handsaw a lot for that if I had a band saw which I would love to have I would use that but um so anyway, see, the, the peg doesn't go all the way through on this one, although it goes lots of weight because the hole didn't get drilled straight. And here I ended up using the off cut of the peg to hold the wood so that I could plane it more easily, which that was a very convenient thing as well. I'll um, stain those two cross members to match the rest of the frame later. Um, and 
I'm, I'm actually really happy with the way it looks. It's strong and I'm using this plywood to cover it all so each piece doesn't have to take a ton of force on its own. So then I cut this plywood to size. I'm using that um, chainsaw helmet uh, for air and eye protection <laughs> um, just because I was too lazy to go get just normal headphones. I did wear normal safety goggles underneath because the shavings come off of that coming off of that circular saw are a lot smaller than um, the shavings that would come off a chainsaw and so they kind of pass through the screen shield that's on that helmet but um, I'll, next I will um, coat this with paint I'm using a Kills brand primer mainly because I had it in the basement and I thought it would work well and I, I actually like it a lot. It's a very uh, durable primer. The first coat I put on with this uh, trowel, I guess, uh, to kind of scrape it into all the holes to try to fill it in, I ended up going back over it with a paintbrush for a second coat. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I didn't want any of the oils and things to leak up through to the bed that'll be on top. Um, and so this is just a quick uh, view of how it goes together. And I, I'm actually pretty happy with how easily it goes together and with how sturdy the final product is. Um, some of the joints are a bit tight here and there, but <clears throat> they this is my first um, project I've done like this with this type of joinery. And so I'm glad it turned out as well as it did. And uh, it, it was fun. I mean, I enjoy woodworking like this, but um, even though I'm not like terribly experienced in it. So I decided to um, bolt this uh, plywood down I have uh, I found three bolts that with nuts that would be sufficient for the job just in my collection of hardware and uh, the thing is I need to drill um, a hole accurately down through the plywood through the 2x4 so I'm using this kind of quick jig to try to to drill that hole and I was kind of using the balance of the drill over the drill bit to make feel if it was vertical and the hole was like way more centered than I remotely expected it to be so that was really nice and um, I just need something to keep it from sliding around because the weight of the bed will do a lot of the holding of it in place but um, I also wanted something easily removable. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please consider checking out some of my other videos and that's all. Bye!